this is part two of my Over the Garden Wall review. So, I'm gonna talk about the animation. Oh my god. I mean, this is Wes Anderson. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Meet. Um, Gravity Falls, regular show, and Over the Garden Wall. In a horror, like, style store show for kids. Oh my god, that's from the coolest collection. That, that's awesome. That, this animation, sometimes they actually just let you pull it on shots. Just to show you what it looks like, and I love those moments. I mean, in episode 2, they really use that. Because they're just like, look at the leaves! Look at the trees! Look at the turkeys! Love them! Embrace them! And frankly, you do! You get right to loving it! Because that's how good this animation is. It's so well put together, and it has so much weight to it. Like, every single thing that these characters are feeling, or moving, or doing, you feel like you're moving, doing, and feeling with them because that's how good it is. That's how and this animation just works. And it's just beautiful. I mean, there's nothing else more that I can say other than it's beautiful. Every part of it was well done. Everything in it works. Every single little animation cell is in its place. And I think that that's just just what makes it really great. Although I have been wondering where that pilot episode was. I mean, come on, they're in a freaking watermelon car for God's sake. Dude, where was that? Replace episode 3 with that. But seriously, dude, if you're gonna make a DVD, please put that in. I really want to see that. Um, so, what do I give the animation? Well, this is one of my first, I think, that I've ever done this. 10 out of 10. That's how good this animation is. Just for a little mini-series, too. That, that's what makes it so good, is that it's just a little mini-series. And yet, they put so much effort into, into just making this so beautiful, and so... And, oh, jeez, I'm trying to think of something else to say about it. It's, it's just so beautiful, I mean... Uh... With an animation that has such good weight and so much beauty in it, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Now time to go on to the song. I hate you, but here's my last. This is the song. Like I said in the animation. I hate the tea with Emma Lux. That song was so unnecessary and so random of a choice that I don't even get why they had to do it. I mean, I know it's supposed to show off how cute Greg is and how cute this entire episode is, but screw you, potato with Emma Lapis. You have a point. Get a point. If you have a point, I would like you. You have a catchy tune that seems to stick in my head. But you don't. You don't have a point. So, then there are other songs, like The Highwayman, which is actually sung by the Blind Boys Band. Yeah, they got them. Which is 30 seconds, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty good song. Really random. I can tell it's just built up for humor reasons, but... I enjoyed it. And... So, then we also have, like, Shifts, which is in episode 8, which, it's alright, again, it's alright, I mean, it, it's not the best, but it's okay, um, and then we have, which other one do we have, the song sung by the weird punk, undead punk and cult, yeah, if you haven't seen the show, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's in episode two. Um, and then we also have, oh yeah, and the Punk and Cold song is really kind of 
creepy actually when you really realize in the end that it's really creepy um and then we have the song sung by the beast all the songs all of his because they're all the same and i love them they're pretty much all just saying the same thing i'm evil i'm in the shadows Ooh. but really i love that like i said this is a fun charismatic villain i love that um and then we also have um war song in the tavern in episode four which is my favorite episode um it is just hilarious like oh my gosh my parents really like my mom remarried and they gave birth to him and my stepdad who talks like this i know it's a song but oh my god i thought it was hilarious um and then we also have I'm trying to remember. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. The one which is in episode 8. It's too cute. Like, the Caleb and Molasses is far too cute. It's not necessary. I just don't see why they need this. Um. Then there is the opening song and the F and the 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 intro and epilogue song which are pretty much the same these are beautiful these are wonderful wonderful songs and the same person who sang who did that singing voice was actually the same person who sang um another song that i'm gonna talk about which is beautiful um over the garden wall it's pretty much just the same as the whole show it's it's just a beautiful song. Look up these songs. They're great songs. You won't be disappointed. Um. Then what else is there? Oh yeah. My favorite. The Beast. Not the song talking about the Beast. I mean in the episode. Songs of the Dark Lantern. Episode 4. This song is what got you intimidated by the beast. And this song was dark, yet in a warm, welcoming environment. This song was creepy, yet in yet sung by such a comforting person. This song was this show in a nutshell. Creepy yet welcoming. Warm, but also dark. A wholesome and gruesome. I love this song. I could listen to this song all day. That's how much I love this song. I learned it word by word. And if I didn't have stage fright, I would sing it right now. But <laughs> I would randomly break out into song and sing it right now. But it is such a good song, and it builds up so much atmosphere. And that's another great thing that the show had with atmosphere. So, all in all, in my songs, I give that one a 6 out of 10. There were some songs that just weren't needed. And there were some of them that were just there for humor reasons, I get it, but just not needed. And there were some that were really good. And there were some that were okay. So... Do I want to go over the Garden Wall again? Well, I've seen the show five times. I think that answers my question. Is that, yes, I'm going to go over the Garden Wall again. I'm going to watch it again and again because it's that good. It had so much heart. It had so much atmosphere, like I said. Um, it had so much effort put into it. And I still want to see that pilot episode. Seriously, I heard it only like six minutes. Dude. Release the DVD of the show. Now put that in there, because I want to see that. Um, I know I'm not the only one. Ugh. Seriously, they're trying to a watermelon car. I want to know what that was. Um, but I just really love all the atmosphere and the, and just all the weight that this show had. It had such a 
It was such a good show. I'm not necessarily saying that they should do this again, but Cartoon Network, make another show like this. Make it longer running, just like, it's at least like 20 episodes. Like, that'll, that'll keep us really interested, and then you'll get much more money that way. <laughs> um, but put the same effort and heart that you put into this one into it. And keep it running for a little bit longer. Do it again. Keep all the atmosphere. Keep it creepy if it needs it. Keep it warm and comforting when it doesn't. Don't put too much cuteness in, like in episode 8. A fraction of that episode is unwatchable. Um, and then also put, and also don't make pointless episodes like episode 3. That was just so pointless. I don't see why you need it. Um, so, in conclusion, my total sum of this show Eight out of ten. That's how much I love this show. Okay? Um, and next week I will be doing a movie that I recently found online that I really want to see called Songs of the Sea. And also, um, the week after that I'm going to be doing something that, um, one of you guys, one of the fans actually recommended that I would watch, um, um, which is called Mary and Max. Yeah, um, one of them recommended that I would watch that, so I did, and I'm going to be doing a review of that the week after. And then after that, please send me some things that you want me to review, because I really, because that would be awesome if you guys would just send me something that you want me to, to review. Please, no pornos, no rated R, no horror, no romance, or and no adult swim stuff. Just those five things, I'm... I don't know, I just have a thing with that. I get scared easily and I hate romance. <laughs> um, or dramas, like, right? I don't like dramas. Or else I'll have to suffer through them. So, yeah, um, like I said, next week is Songs of the Sea. Next week we're going to be listening to Songs of the Sea. So, yeah. Bye.